Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Explore with uh, Dev Preeti. As you all know, we are staying in Poland for last two years. In this two year, we came across many top situations. Why I am saying top situation and why I am not saying difficulties because uh, difficult like top situation teaches us lot of things and we learn from this situation a, a lot. So that's why I am saying it is a top situation, not a difficulties uh, as an immigrant, of course. Uh, like others and one of the most most important uh, work or most important uh, most important topic we need to <clears throat> do after coming to Poland or Europe is to apply for blue card or temporary citizenship because when we are coming to Europe in any country we are coming with a visa which is, which validity is only for one year or six months but if we wanted to stay longer than this period then we have to apply for temporary citizenship or blue card and uh, uh, and so in this video let's discuss about EU blue, EU blue card procedure requirement and other questionaries and how to apply and where to apply and how many how how will be the charges for this so let's start so as you all know like labor market in Poland has been undergoing a significant changes in recent year the country is in need of skilled workers to expand and develop its economy this has created advantage advantages for foreign workers so lot of foreign workers coming to poland right now and lot of uh, companies uh, multinational companies also opening their development centers and <coughs> corporate offices in poland uh, warsaw and other cities uh, and if you want to work in Poland as a highly skilled worker, you need to apply for an EU blue card or temporary citizenship. Uh, the like what is EU blue card? The EU blue card is a type of resident uh, residence permit that that will allow you to live and work in Poland for the duration of your employment contract. So before for, before applying for an EU blue card, uh, check to see if you need a visa to enter the territory of Poland first. If you come from a country with a visa requirement, you need to get a type D visa, which is long stay and which validity is one year, maximum one year, but you can apply for six month, three month, one month, 15 days, according to a requirement uh, before, and you need to check, you need to have a, this type of visa, type D visa, long stay visa before starting, before starting the application process. Then what is a blue card? So as of my last knowledge update in January uh, 2022 or recent uh, knowledge update, the EU blue card is a residence and work permit issued by Euro European Union member state to highly skilled non-EU or European Economic Association nation national, which is like in short, they are calling it is EEA nationals, who is to work in, who, who is to work and live in EU country including Poland and Germany and Austria, other countries. <clears throat> the EU Blue Card aims to attract highly qualified professionals from around the world to contribute their skills and expertise to the European labor market. Then you can ask me in my, in my like before I have explained uh, temporary citizenship. So then what is temporary citizenship or what is a TRC card? So again, uh, as, per, as of my last knowledge, TRC could refer to temporary residence card uh, in the context of Poland. The temporary residence card or in Polish, we are calling it as Karta Pabutyu, is a document issue, issued by police authorities to non-European EU nationals who intended to stay in Poland for an extended period for purpose such as work, studies, family reunification or other lawful reasons. <clears throat> so if I say there are there are two card actually issued here in uh, Poland, one is blue card, EU blue card, European Union blue card from uh, which is uh, from the European Union and another one is uh, temporary residence card which is uh, like local. Okay, so guys uh, let's discuss about the difference between TRC and blue card. TRC means temporary residence card and uh, EU blue card. So when we are discussing about differences between these two cards, the first point comes to our mind is purpose. What is the purpose or why this uh, two, like why this temporary residence card and EU blue card is uh, issued and to whom it is issued and what is the target uh, people for these two cards. 
so that we are calling purpose of these two cards so let's discuss about the difference between uh, these two card purpose like why it is issued the first thing is temporary residence card so temporary residence card as i explained before is a uh, it's it is generally issued for a specific very very specific purpose like uh, war family reunification like if you are staying here and if your wife and your parents or any any of your children are coming and joining you so that this is called family reunification uh, education purpose like if someone is uh, studying here high uh, is studying here and he or she uh, doing her graduation or post graduation or phd and he want uh, he or she wanted to continue uh, further uh, then uh, for or, or other reasons specified by police law there are like lot of laws of uh, like uh, buying a house kind of reunification etc so lot of police laws are there and uh, yeah so and it is not specifically designed for highly skilled workers so this is very important so it is not specifically designed for highly skilled workers that means anyone can apply for temporary residence card if you are like not if you are not earning anything and if you are earning very less in poland then you can go or, or if you are like earning very highly then you can go for temporary residence card it is applicable for everyone temporary residence card in poland but let's talk about european union blue card so the european union blue card is a specialized residence permit intended for highly skilled non eu or european economic association workers very highly skilled so note this point very highly skilled worker right um, and it is primarily focused on focused on attracting and retaining professionals with a high level of qualifications and expertise again you have to note that so if you have a very high level of qualifications and expertise then uh, you can apply for the eu blue card and what is the eligibility criteria for blue card the eu blue card is specifically designed for individuals again with higher education qualifications and a job offer or employment con- contract in a highly skilled position so if you are holding a very uh, if you are holding a very high level of qualification as i mentioned before like a uh, field of account uh, field of software development or engineering or uh, research and development or phd uh, on, on anything and from corporate sector like management etc and if you have a very and if you and if you have a very uh, highly skilled uh, high, high if you have a job contract on a highly skilled position in any corporate then you are eligible for eu blue card uh, you if you are, you are eligible for eu blue card eligibility so next uh, applicants must have higher education degree job offer with a salary meeting the minimum threshold so again it is very important to note eu blue card eligibility criteria has to have a very highly educational qualification or a job contract and there is a salary requirement as well so if you are planning to apply for eu blue card then you need to check your salary like what is the you are like coming under this salary requirement or not we will discuss it later so uh, european union scope so next difference is european union scope so trc is issued by individual eu member state including poland hungary uh, germany spain france every every individual uh, member country and it is scope limited to the issuing country so if you are applying for a uh, this is again a very important to note like if you are applying for a temporary residence card for in poland then it is only the scope is only limited to poland itself so it is not limited to the other member state of european union but in case of european union blue card is a standardized permit it is a basically standardized permit that allows mobility within the european union after 18 months of legal residence in the first eu member state so again it is very important to uh, uh, note it noted it here like if you are completing 18 months in your first job and the in the issuing country then you will be eligible for uh, if you eligible if you, you will be eligible for uh, other member state to stay and work as well blue card 
uh, yeah blue so this is the advantage of blue card like it is not scoped to the local country the issuing country but it is for the whole european union member state or we are calling schengen member state <clears throat> So it is very essential for individuals to carefully review the specific eligibility criteria and requirements for each type of permit they are applying and consult with relevant authorities or immigration professionals for the most up-to-date and accurate information. Regulations may change uh, because you know like in European Union the regulation is changing very quickly or like very rapidly or very often. So it is very important to consult immigration immigration professionals or to authorities to know uh, or to know the update about the, to know about the recent update. So then you can ask me uh, like what document should I submit for an EU blue card in Poland? So it uh, and you know like this uh, note I have made by myself because I have applied by myself. I have not taken. Uh, help of any other immigration professionals okay so i talk to them i uh, i got their advice but i have not taken their help so it is very again important to note here when you are applying eu uh, blue card so in poland especially where my experience is like uh, mm, uh, you can apply by yourself and you can take help of a lawyer if there are like lot of consultancies are there who can help you to apply for this blue card uh, but they are they will charge like if they will help then they will charge you a very high amount of uh, money like uh, like i consulted like one year before so then uh, they are like charging at that time they are charging 3000 pln uh, for me and 2500 pln for uh, my wife and uh, it is very important to note but you can uh, talk to many uh, like, like what i do actually what i did actually I have applied by myself because I just wanted to save this money. So I have talked to many professionals and I got their experience and I got their advice and I searched in Google about many articles and then I have applied by myself by help of my police friends and uh, yeah, so they helped me to uh, fill up my uh, fill up my uh, form and etc. But this document list I have made at that time of. Uh, uh, at, at my application and I am sharing with you because I you, you can get some help from this video. So the first thing we need to uh, we need to have two copies of application for a temporary residence permit. So there is a website I can explain in my next video. I can show the website how like where can where, where I have applied. So you have to fill up a form or if you you have to fill up a temporary residence permit uh, application there, and you have to take. Uh, you have to take print out of that copy and you have to make two copies one copy you will submit with the authority or in the office and another copy you will keep it with you a valid travel document issued within the last 10 year together with two photocopies of all pages with annot annotations so what is meaning of this travel document like passport which is issued within last 10 years and very important to note this passport expiry should uh, at least you uh, at least have like after two years or one and a half years like if your passport is expiring like in one month or two months then there is a chance your blue card application will be rejected because you won't uh, because the authority will say that you won't have a like valid travel document because this application will scrutinize after one month right so very there is a chances to be rejected so for a separate side you have to check your expiry date of your travel document or passport uh, which is uh, <clears throat> which should be like one year or at least one year more than one year of expiry and you have, what you need to do you have to make photocopies of your last page and first of th last page and first page of your passport and all other pages where the stamp is there and where is visa has been issued for other countries or Poland you have to take photocopies of that as well and you have to sum submit. So again, two photocopies. One you have to keep with you. Another you have to keep you. Another you have to submit to the authorities. Uh, then uh, four photographs in in line with the Poland visa photo requirements. So uh, in the application, uh, in, in application you have to like put two photographs. Uh, you, in uh, with the authorities you have to submit two photographs and another two photographs you have to uh, keep it with you. 
and remember like i am i have applied my blue card in warsaw office so every uh, every uh, office like where i have submitted my document so there outside of the office there is a like photograph uh, photo like studio is there so you can uh, go there and you can tell them that okay so i am applying blue card i need a photograph so they will make you uh, like a, a, a appropriate photograph and uh, yeah so i in line with the visa requirement and another important thing is this photograph should not be uh, older than 6 months like if you are submitting any photograph that should not be older than 6 months because maybe your face uh, facial changes will be there and uh, Uh, like authority won't be able to rec- uh, recognize you so it is very very important that if you are applying uh, for a blue card then take the photograph in the morning and submit it so this is my uh, experience and and i am sharing with you uh, then uh, proof of paid fee so you have to uh, paid uh, fee for this uh, for, for the blue card and there is like uh, there is a way like what i have done i have uh, actually paid it by a post office so you have to uh, like you have to like uh, you have to like submit this uh, receipt with your application so take a photocopy of that uh, uh, proof and keep it with keep the photocopy with you and submit the original with the authority then employment contract the contract must be valid for one year so you have to get uh, like while you are joining your job after you complete and in, again it is very important that uh, in poland when we are joining a company then we are serving for a uh, we are serving for a 3 uh, month 3 month 3 month 3 month 3 month period of you know like uh, temporary uh, contract we are signing and then after 3 month we are uh, after 3 month we are signing the permanent contract so this is very important uh, like you have a permanent contract please remember and it should be valid for at least more than 1 year so not less than 1 year uh proof of professional ex- experience so if you have like ex- if you have experience before joining this company then you have to uh, submit the proof and if you are from other country uh, and if your uh, document has been issued in other language than polish then you have to translate those document with a sworn translator so don't submit the document in english or any other language so authority will not accept here so you have to translate those document in police with a sworn translator and you have to submit it and uh, you with this uh, proof of professional experience in poland also in university degree also be calculated so you have to submit your university degree as well again in a, in a police in in as a uh, police translated version with a sworn translator not an english version <clears throat> then uh, information from the competent authorities for your main place of work it is required so as i remember there is a annexure 1 and annexure 2 document has been given by your company and uh, another thing like if you are applying by your own then they have to give a authority uh, they have to give a give a authority uh, authority to you to uh, apply uh, for in on behalf of them so your hr will give you and this document you have to return to the hr after you have applied uh, after you have after you submit your document so these two document you have to get from your organization and you have to submit it uh, to the authority and then health insurance document confirming you have health insurance or coverage by insurer in the police territory uh, and basically this we are like if we if we are a uh if we are a, like uh, a police employee um, police employee then we are giving our insurance to juice so you have to submit your juice copy for last 3 month juice contribution certificate or document for last 3 month and if your wife or if your uh, any other family member is applying with you then you have to and if you are the uh, loan uh, lo- yeah if you if you if you are the only person you are uh, having the job then you have to include other family members in your juice contribution as well and you have to submit their juice contribution document with their application then uh, proof of accommodation so this is rental agri- agreement <clears throat> so uh, yeah so if you have like in poland generally when you are taking a home then you are uh, having a rental agreement with your owner so you have to uh, submit a, a photocopy of that and keep the original with you 
you can also not only rental uh, rental agreement you can submit or you can also submit any check in information or any hotel reservation if you have any receipt uh, uh, maybe some additional document they can ask you <coughs> to provide or maybe some document is also not needed so it depends on the really it really depends on the situation like how you are applying for uh, applying for uh, your blue card for an example few of my friend uh, they have applied through their company or their company held them to get the blue card so in that case uh, you you don't need an extra one and an extra two document from the company uh, because company will give to their uh, give to the consultant consultancy directly and uh, another thing that i have not mentioned here the tax clearance certificate you also need to get so what is tax clearance certificate so if you are staying in poland then you are giving tax of course I mean in in many form like if you are buying a car if you are selling a car if you are making an youtube video or if you are earning any income then you are paying tax or if you are buying something you are paying tax so there are like tax offices in uh, poland in each district so they have to certify that this individual person is not is there in there is there is no tax is pending on on on, on this person they have to make a certificate so for this certificate you have to visit tax office and you have to uh, submit the request you have to pay the fee the fee is around like uh, 20 zloty you can pay it via zapka or you can pay it pay paid via post office and this certificate will you will get after 7 days so this is the this is the criteria so this uh, this uh, this document also you need to provide so generally these are the documents you need to collect and you have to keep it with you uh, when you are applying for blue card but as i mentioned this document really uh, like differs on the situation or or how you are applying or uh, and how you are proceeding with your blue card so next let's discuss like what is the cost of an eu blue card for poland so i am going to tell you in the form of euro but in poland we are uh, we are not using euro as uh, we are not using euro as in a normal day so you are using polish zloty uh, for, uh, for as an currency but uh, one euro remember one euro is almost like 4.5 zloty so uh, yeah it depends again on the situation like how is the financial market but i will tell you in the form of euro like how many how much euro you need uh, to uh, get this blue card so uh, initial like if you are applying for the first time then you need 100 111 euro uh, 11 euro fees to apply for this blue card for a, for an individual and uh, if you are uh, if you are like if you are renew your if you are renew, renewing your blue card then you have to pay 119 euro for for an individual and if you are like replacing a blue card or if you are like printing a blue card then you have to give 12 euro to uh, yeah to replace or to have a new plastic card uh, with you so this is the overall cost forecast for the blue card and again as i mentioned before if you are going through a consultancy then they can charge you up to a 3000 pln per person or more than that uh, for an individual for as the, as their fee but there is no <clears throat> mandatory requirement that you need a lawyer or you need a consultancy Uh, to have an blue card this is not a mandatory requirement you can also apply for yourself and i will prefer to apply by myself or i or my company has to up, give me or apply for my on behalf of me but i as an individual i won't prefer to go to an consultancy so what is the duration of a blue card for poland so an eu blue card is granted for a period of 3 years and again after 3 years you have to renew that uh, and if the if the if the employment contract is valid for a shorter period uh, the eu blue card is issued for the same duration plus another 3 month but not longer not not but not longer than 3 years so uh, if you have like uh, if you are staying if your employment contract is like uh, unlimited so there is an employment contract called unlimited period contract and if you have it then they will issue it for 3 years but if you have an employment contract for one year then they will issue for one year three month three month and uh, three month is extra you know, for it so that you can uh, if your employment contract is extended then you can apply for a new blue card but uh, generally they are not giving uh, like more than three years and for on- honestly speaking i have not seen who the person who has got like two year more than two and a half year 
so in practically uh, everyone is getting two year uh, two and a half year or two year nine month or ten month like that so no one is getting more than three years so you have to apply you have to renew your blue card after three years really then what is the how much time it will take or what is the processing time for policy you blue card so police authorities uh, must reach a decision on your blue card application within 30 30 days receiving of your application theoretically the processing that might take longer up to 60 days on complicated cases but this is a theory but as you know like uh, there are like lot of after the war there are lot of uh, people are applying for you blue card in, a, in the immigration office and now it will it is taking like uh, four month or five month to get this blue card decision so theoretically it is 30 days and 60 days but practically if i say like it is taking up to three month to uh, three month to four month to get this card or sometimes it is in complicated cases it is taking five months to get the card so how to apply for a new blue card in poland so uh, but there is an update in recent history so there is a por- uh, there is a portal has been opened by the bobido <coughs> bobido ship or the immigration office from poland and you can first what you can do you can fill your application you can create an application here and for your uh, family members and you can fill out the form and you can uh, and you can uh, you can uh, take this print out of this form and you can go and submit the uh, submit your document in the bobido office right in poland and the thing is like in this process like if you have missed any document to submit <clears throat> or if you uh, if you uh, if you are not able to get this arrange this document by your date uh, by your submission date so they will give you a 14 days of cooling period so you can log in into this portal and you can upload this document with your application form so this uh, changes has been done in recent years so this is also another uh, this is another thing you have to take a note of that and uh, what are the benefits of the eu blue card for poland so uh, if you have a eu blue card holder then the first benefit is paid leaves uh, like you have to rest days in a week 13 public holidays 20 days of annual leave uh, maternity leave depends on the number of children you give birth for example 20 weeks uh, for one child 31 for twins 33 for triplets 35 weeks for quadruplets and 37 week for uh, quintuplets or more for more but it's like it's really funny but it depends on how many child you are giving birth so depending on the child you will get the maternity leave eight weeks of parental leave for both parent uh, sickness leave for the first 33 days 14 days if the worker is over the age of 50 uh, study leave varies in length for example like six days for extra mural exam six days for professional qualification uh, confirmation and 21 days for diploma uh, di- diploma exam a uh, diploma examination so these are the uh, paid leaves you will get if you have a if you are a EU blue card holder uh, then is free movement to all EU member states and within the Polish territory so you can visit all the countries within Schengen area without any visa requirement and you can stay there for out to three months your family members can uh, accompany you to Poland healthcare insurance uh, you will get from Jews office access to education and vocational training in the in Poland and other EU member state, access to public goods and services, uh, working hours is normal eight hour, eight hours of working hour. If you are working overtime, then you will get paid as per the standard uh, as per the standard of the uh, of your organization. Equal treatment to police, national, and no discrimination in the workplace. So this is also important point to uh, m- uh, mention. Then the most important thing is who is eligible for an EU blue card in Poland. So already I mentioned couple of points, uh, but let's take a detailed look like how can you will be eligible for an EU blue card. So the first thing is, as I mentioned before, you must have a valid work contract or binding job offer for a profession that requires high qualification with a duration of at least one year. So more than one year you need it. Uh, and uh, and again like we, with the with this with the valid work contract you work contract you also need to have a work permit which mentioned that no one can fill this job 
uh, this is a highly qualified uh, job position and no one can fill this job so that's why your company is hiring you uh, you must have this this is the first requirement to get a u blue card or you must have a completed study course at a university with a duration of 3 years so if you are doing your graduation in poland or post graduation post graduation in poland or phd in poland then you should have a like uh, certificate which duration should be 3 years or more than 3 years your gross salary must meet the salary threshold in threshold in poland so this is another important thing so there is a salary requirement as well or earning requirement as well your salary should be 8500 pln per month which is the required uh, which is the like required threshold salary in poland you meet the national legal legal uh, requirements of poland you meet the relevant higher professional qualification as i mentioned before you do not pose a security threat to public order or the national security of poland so this is also important like if any cases is pending on you then you won't get it or if you are a politician from other countries or associated with political activities in other countries and is there any proof uh, the police authorities will get then they will not allow you to have this card so uh, so there are like couple of uh, questionnaires common questionnaires people have doubt or when also i have applied uh, for blue card uh, i have also doubt for doubt for doubt for it so let's discuss about it so what professionals are available with an eu blue card for poland or what is the highly qualification or highly qualified job definition or who are them who are they the highly qualified people are eligible for blue card in poland so the first is it specialist uh, drivers like bus drivers lgb drivers tractor unit drivers uh, program uh, programmer or software developers financial analyst healthcare workers like doctor nurse midwife psycho physiotherapist uh, massage, thera- massage therapist and uh, yeah massage therapist etc uh, engineers like people working in civil engineering uh, field uh, or other chemical engineers or mechanical engineers uh, technicians uh, marketing professionals business associates uh, economist human resource professional uh, logistic prof- uh, logistic specialist and uh, these are the like generally considered as the highly uh, professionals highly qualified professional or highly income group professionals so next question generally arises uh, when we are applying when we are having a blue card or when we are applying for a blue card that can i change my employer or position while working on a blue card in poland yes or no yes you can apply uh, you can change your job or you can change your employer while you have a blue card but uh, but if you have not completed 2 years with your employer current employer and if you uh, if you are a, if you are holding a blue card then you can go for another employer and that employer has to work uh, that then that employer has to initiate the process from the beginning like applying for you a work permit and created a job position for you and you have to apply for new blue card again in the with the immigration office so that is that 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 is the uh, that is actually such scenarios generally so next question arises can my family accompany accompany me in poland with an eu blue card uh, yes as a eu blue card holder you are entitled to, entitled to bring your family members spouse and children under the age of 18 with you with you to poland if you have the necessary financial support and accommodation place for them your family members will be beneficiaries of the same rights as benefits uh, as benefits as you but there is uh, also another benefits of family members they can apply for your blue family card and uh, they are unlimited that they are their, their family card this family card is uh, unlimited access to labor market so i will maybe explain in another video <clears throat> so next question arises this is a very common question am i allowed to work in another country with a blue card issued in poland the eu blue card issued by poland is valid for poland only 
therefore it cannot be used for employment purpose outside the police territory however an eu blue card allows you to travel to other member states of the eu but not to participate in gainful activity so this is very important to be noted <clears throat> that you can travel for another you can travel to another countries with your eu blue card but you cannot you can travel for like business purpose for one week or up to like three month but you cannot uh, like have a permanent employment there but if you are going to another member state then you have to apply for uh, eu blue card blue card in that that country again you have to issue your blue card next question arises can my police eu blue card get cancelled uh, yes an eu blue card can be cancelled if you don't do not comply with the restriction on access to the labor market for example if you if during the first two years of your stay in poland on a blue card you changed your you changed employers your position or your uh, remuner uh, or your like salaries etc has been reduced etc uh, then your employ uh, your blue card can be cancelled if your employer fired you or if you if you lost your job and then you have to uh, get a job within the 90 within 90 days uh, of your last last working day uh, or if your salary has been reduced uh, to the uh, less than your less than the minimum threshold in, uh, threshold salary then your uh, blue card also can be cancelled so yeah so this is all about uh, blue card and how did how did i applied and how did i get my blue card and these are common questionnaires uh, like everyone ha- asks, like ask uh, ask uh, or discuss among themselves while apply, while applying the blue card so thank you for watching this video and if you really like or if you get any information then please subscribe our channel and leave your thought or leave your comment in the comment box thank you very much see you in your in the next video